In our last episode, we saw how Lara Croft used her wits and skill upgrades to solve environmental challenges and survive while stranded on this mysterious island deep within the Dragon's Triangle. In this episode, we'll show you how Lara can use her gear and the base camp system to explore the island and unlock its many secrets. Whether it's scaling sheer rock cliffs, crossing raging rivers, or exploring subterranean tombs, Lara will need to become an expert explorer in order to conquer the island's deadly terrain. This is Tomb Raider Guide to Survival Part 2, Exploration. As we've seen in the previous episode, base camps allow Lara to upgrade her skills and equipment by finding salvage and earning experience points. However, the base camps are not only a customization hub for her, they also act as the foundation for the exploration system called Fast Travel. Fast Travel is a simple map-based system that allows Lara to instantly return to any previously explored location on the island. After completing areas such as the site of the plane crash where Lara fended off wolf attacks, or the World War II base where she tried to send a distress signal, base camps discovered in those areas are automatically unlocked and show up as new travel locations on the island's map. With the fast travel system, Laura has the ability to return and re-explore areas to collect salvage, build up XP, and uncover clues to the island's mysteries, which may have been missed the first time around. These ruins predate the Kofun period. Clues such as the Endurance's crew's diaries or dozens of Japanese historical items that help Laura understand the island's history. To ensure that she never loses her original path, Laura's progress is shown as a waypoint on the map. Using fast travel puts Laura's main adventure on hold, and waypoints let her go back to where she was to continue her adventure. A key element that plays into the fast travel system and expands the storyline is a feature called gear gating. When Lara explores many of the areas on the island for the first time, she is not fully equipped to explore their sheer cliff faces, mountain peaks, or many of the hidden locations. But as she increases her ability and experience, she begins to obtain new equipment, such as the shotgun, fire arrows, and bow rope. As a result, customization and skill upgrades play a critical role in this adventure. Lara's bow remains as versatile as ever, and with the addition of rope, it can now be used to create rope arrows to attach to certain points. Once this technique is mastered, Lara can create her own zip lines, using them to cross perilous areas such as chasms and rivers to reach new locations previously inaccessible. Lara can also attach a rope arrow to destructible elements in the world to help clear barricades, open locked doors, and move objects that are out of reach. Another example of this new ability is the use of the shotgun. This powerful weapon introduces a new combat mechanic to Lara's arsenal. However, its secondary use is to blast barricades and open areas that were previously blocked. This gives Lara yet another reason to return to areas and scour them for hidden secrets. Through the fast travel system, Lara begins her journey of becoming an intrepid adventurer, unearthing secrets and mysteries as she explores the island, defining what it means to become a Tomb Raider. In the next episode, we'll show you how all of the elements of skill development, exploration, and gear gating come together in combat as Laura fights to not only survive the dangers of the island, but also fend off the dangerous inhabitants who are trying to capture her and the rest of the crew, next time on Guide to Survival.